hover over a term and then click and drag from the arrow to another term. Then release the mouse button and type in a name for the relation. Instead of typing in the name you can also select a name from the list. The list contains a few standard relations, but also new relations are added if you add different names. This list is sorted on occurrence. Left click on the relation to bring up the menu. Here you can reverse the direction. You can also move relations when you drag the little circles. The editing works the same as for the terms, so you can use the sidebar, the menu, or select a relation and press the insert key. Normally relations are straight lines. With multiple relations between two terms they are curved. You can also modify this yourself when you use the option add bend point in the menu. To draw curvy lines you can select add control point. There is an option to show cardinalities in the relations. Let's open the example of a data model. Then make sure the cardinalities are enabled in the settings menu. You can select for numbers. Here you see that a customer can have one or more deliveries. And a trip is made during one delivery. The other option is to display the cardinalities as text. If you now edit the relation, you get an extra option to set the cardinality.